All right, so I picked up a heater for the side-by-side -side off of Wish. Um, kind of bought this on a whim as I was surfing the web. Uh, thing was 60 bucks, and I got to say, it doesn't seem too bad quality-wise. I mean, it's definitely cheap, but um, doesn't seem bad. has a metal housing, two little fans in the back of it. And there's a spot on each side to put a 6 millimeter bolt in so you can secure it to a bracket. And then I, I did remove all the screws out of it so I can show you the inside. The heater core itself is three rows and then it, it's two deep, well, three tubes with two deep. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a decent little size uh, heater core here with the two little fans behind it. Um, again, just in this cheap little metal case. The um, size of it is about five by eight and three inches uh, high here. So we're going to uh, build a bracket for this and uh, install it in the side by side. <laughs> all right, we got the mount all made and uh, painted. So we're going to get it installed in the uh, Maverick and then install the heater core. All right, so we got it all mounted in the uh, Maverick. And uh, now we gotta plumb it and hook up electrical. All right, so I pulled the heater back out of the side-by-side -side while it was in there. I test fitted some duct work and got an idea how I want it mounted. And uh, is some inch and a quarter fittings, PVC fittings that that's what size this pipe is it slips right over it nicely um you can see there's a little ridge here so what i did was i took a flapper wheel and just sanded the inside of this a little bit so that when you slide it on there it fits all the way then i also have these automotive style vents i got so i got four of these off of amazon for like um, 16 bucks and you know kind of your standard open spin deal um so the inside of this actually will accept this inch and a quarter pipe so i was going to use a little length of inch and a quarter pipe and put it on here you know so we'd be we'd be sitting something like this and then uh i decided again flapper wheel take it and i i sanded the inside of this now i couldn't sand it all the way to what i need maybe if i spent enough time on it it might have but what I did instead was I got it sanded to the point where this almost fits in there. Not quite yet. And then I'm taking my heat gun and just heating, heating this up, getting the PVC to be soft, which then will allow me to push it in there. So as you can see in this one, it, it slides right in. And if you look, you can see there's kind of a bulge here. And that's, that's the uh, area that I pushed it into and, and got it to bulge out a little bit. So now that fits in there fairly tight. So, all right, so we got it all plumbed in. There's the hoses coming through the firewall. And then we put the T's in here. One in that hose. The lower radiator hose. And back behind there is the upper radiator hose. And then in the cab... like coming straight through into two shutoffs I put one on each side because I'm just concerned um, if I do have a problem with this heater core I want to be able to shut it down so it doesn't uh, give me a problem out on the trails so this way I can completely isolate it on both sides uh, the unit itself like I said blows fairly decent puts out a decent amount of hot air haven't had it out on the trail yet but you know I uh, still ride my ATVs and motorcycles in the winter time. So thinking for me, this will be more than enough seeing how I'm used to riding with no heat and with the wind on me. So um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please like and subscribe.